Hey guys, it's Jason from IMG Filmworks. Welcome back outside my garage, actually, on a beautiful Southwest Florida afternoon uh, where we are going to be taking our calipers from this to this. Now, before we get started on this uh, particular episode, uh, I want to give an update on the Turbo Accord project. Um, I know it's been a while since uh, I have put out a video and I apologize. It uh, has been a really crazy uh, last uh, uh, few months uh, in my life and I'm trying to get back to those. I have several in production right now. Uh, I, I try to keep up with the comments and look at the comments and I know some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, uh, you know, the, something must happen to the car. Uh, I, I got a laugh out of one comment where the guy uh, uh, commented and said uh, that he knew why the series uh, had slowed down because I blew the motor. I'm here to tell you that uh, the motor is not blown. The car has over 303,000 miles uh, boosted every time I go out in it and it still runs like a champ. So Please stay tuned. Uh, I know it's been a while, but like I said, I've got a couple of things coming up that uh, are really going to be neat. We've got a, a race video where I go against a 3 Series uh, 600 BMW and, uh, uh, you know, a test drive video plus, uh, uh, you know, back to the meat and potatoes of the series where, where I'm trying to go back. Uh, remember, this build's been done for about three years, so I'm trying to go back and, and, and show you guys everything I did, and, and that just takes some time and uh, you know, some creative thinking on how to do that uh, since the build's been done uh, for so many years now. Okay, with all that said, let's get right into the video. There's two different ways to do these, what some people consider the correct way and uh, then the fast, easy way, which is what I'm going to do. Now, the correct way would obviously be to remove the whole caliper from the uh, car, uh, you know, disconnect the uh, brake lines and uh, remove the pads, you know, sandblast the whole thing, paint it outside, uh, you know, of the of the car and, and then reinstall everything. Once you put the wheels on the car, there's really no difference. You can't tell. And, and if people say you can, um, they must be better than me because I have, you know, I, I have show cars. And uh, when the wheels are on this thing, you absolutely can't tell that the back half of this caliper isn't painted. So the way I do it is I leave the caliper on the car. Uh, and we just mask it off. And the important thing is uh, making sure the lines, you know, I make distinct lines uh, from the bottom and the top of the caliper where the uh, pads sit in there. And, and that makes it look, even with the wheel off, like it was supposed to be that way. So if you just do some uh, careful masking, uh, this will come out absolutely awesome. And I think um, I can do all four calipers, including the decals uh, for around $20. Uh, so that's a, that's a huge savings. And, uh, uh, you know, the upgraded look is just phenomenal. Uh, now, these calipers were in such bad shape. There were two areas that were really neglected by the uh, previous owner. Uh, one was the wheels and caliper area. Um, they're just shot. And uh, the other one was the exhaust tips, which are also shot. Now, stay tuned for a video on how I restored the exhaust tips because uh, I didn't want to buy a new $400 set uh, and made them look uh, almost like brand new. But that'll be in a later video. Okay, so the first step is we're going to jack the car up and uh, secure it. Make sure that you put a, uh, a chalk at the back of the car uh, and be safe when you do this and uh, get the wheel off.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot and you can see how easy it is to take your calipers uh, from a really horrible neglected state to uh, really looking incredible with uh, hardly any time and, and, and not much money at all. Once again, I want to thank all my subscribers for, uh, you know, subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Just click the link above and become a subscriber. Until next time, I'll see you right back here inside my garage.